Exotropia is a form of strabismus. Strabismus is a word for ocular misalignment when the eyes are not straight. So strabismus can have different varieties where the eyes are not straight because they're crossed in or because the eyes are up or down or out. Exotropia is when the eyes are drifting outward. In the extreme form, you might call it wall-eyed. The study that we are embarked on is a surgical study of treatment for intermittent exotropia. Intermittent exotropia means that the eyes are intermittently or occasionally drifting out rather than constantly drifting out. In general, there's two kinds of treatments for intermittent exotropia surgically. One is to loosen the muscle that pulls the eye outward, to let the eye swing back inwards. And the other is to tighten the muscle that pulls the eye inwards, so that, so that you pull the eye back into place. And there really isn't a strong preference between either approach at this point, because both seem to work very well. So the study is trying to determine if if there are situations where one surgical approach or the other is definitely preferable, either because of surgical results or, or patient comfort um, or pa parental satisfaction. Uh, and intermittent, intermittent exotropia tends to start uh, around the ages of three to six years old, and it's often missed or just briefly noticed by parents and family members initially because it's intermittent and then gradually becomes more uh, common or more easier to notice. Um, in some patients, the, the disease never reaches the point where surgical treatment is necessary. But in patients where the intermittent exotropia is frequent or very noticeable, surgical treatment is usually very effective. Most families members will notice that the eye is drifting outward. So the eye will, will one eye will be pointed at whatever the patient or child is looking at and the other eye will be drifting off to the side. Oftentimes this causes glare, so patients will often squint one eye or close one eye in sunlight or in bright light situations. That's why in, in, in Britain this condition is called squint, because patients are always often noted to be squinting in, in outdoor situations.